We got some exciting news about Samsung's One UI 7.0 update. From a fresh control center look to revamped icons and Samsung's take on Apple's dynamic island, there's a lot to unpack. So let's dive right in and explore what's coming our way. First up, let's talk about Samsung's implementation of Dynamic Island SL Live activities. If you're familiar with Apple's Dynamic Island, you'll see some similarities here. On Samsung's end, the active notifications are located in the top left area. For instance, you might see a stopwatch notification there. When you tap on it, a notification expands, giving you more controls and information. This feature seems inspired by Apple's smooth animations in Dynamic Island. However, from what we've seen in these leaks, Samsung's version looks a bit different. Whether Samsung can match Apple's smoothness remains to be seen, but it's promising to see them innovating in this space. What do you think of Samsung's Dynamic Island? Let me know in the comments below. Last week, we got a glimpse of redesigned icons for some of Samsung's stock apps. This week, thanks to leaks from smart pricks and ex-user Chunbei, we've got even more to share about One UI 7.0. The new quick panel design and a more rounded overall aesthetic are part of the update. The quick panel now consists of two sections, quick settings and notifications. You could easily switch between them with a swipe. Additionally, you can hide the labels of the quick settings for a cleaner look. Some rumors suggested that Samsung might copy iOS, but the new design feels more like a refined version of One UI 6.0's quick panel. The screenshots reveal that Samsung has updated icons for several stock apps, including camera, clock, contacts, gallery, and weather. Alongside these aesthetic changes, Samsung is enhancing functionality too. The continuity feature now allows users to send video call notifications to nearby devices. This means you can seamlessly continue calls from your Galaxy phone to a Galaxy tablet or even a Samsung TV, as long as both devices are signed in with the same Samsung account. The notification design has also been tweaked, with more rounded corners and increased spacing between notifications, making them look cleaner and easier to manage. Now for some exciting news for Galaxy S24 Ultra users. The S24 Ultra will be one of the first devices to receive the One UI 7.0 update. Ice Universe, a reliable source, has shared that One UI 7.0 will bring significant camera improvements, Specifically, the 1X and 5X 50 megapixel modes for the primary and telephoto cameras are expected to deliver picture quality on par with the pixel bin 12 megapixel photos. This means that even at these high resolutions, you can expect clarity, vibrant colors, and a broad dynamic range. This update could make the Galaxy S24 Ultra's camera experience even more impressive, especially for those who love capturing detailed photos. Are you excited about the One UI 7.0 update? With these new features and improvements, it looks like Samsung is set to enhance the user experience significantly. From the new dynamic notifications to the revamped icons and continuity features, there's a lot to look forward to. That's all for today's video. What are your thoughts on these updates? Are you excited about Samsung's version of Dynamic Island? How do you feel about the new icon designs and camera improvements? Let me know in the comments section below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to stay updated with all the latest tech news. As always, see you in the next video. Today, we've got some exciting news about Samsung's upcoming foldable smartphones. If you're a tech enthusiast, you're definitely going to want to stick around for this one. We're talking about the highly anticipated Galaxy Z Fold 6 series, and more specifically, the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra, which is rumored to be coming to China and Korea. Let's dive right in. Among the many Galaxy Z Fold 6 models that are currently in development in Samsung's labs, the one that has everyone buzzing is the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra. Now, if you're familiar with Samsung's ultra-branded smartphones, you know they are designed to be the best of the best, offering high-end features and cutting-edge technology. While the standard Galaxy Z Fold 6 is expected to bring some minor incremental upgrades, all eyes are undoubtedly on the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra. However, here's the catch. The Ultra isn't expected to get a global release. But don't worry, it seems this powerhouse of a device won't be restricted to just Samsung's home country, South Korea. According to the folks over at Android Headlines, Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra could also be launching in China. This is particularly interesting because it seems the rumored Galaxy Z Fold 6 Slim, which we've been hearing about with its slimmer body, bigger displays, and larger battery, might actually be the Chinese variant of the Fold 6 Ultra. If this is true, it would clear up some of the confusion we've seen in recent weeks about how many models Samsung is actually working on. It might just be two. The Galaxy Z Fold 6 and the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra, the Ultra, limited to Korea and China for now, would allow Samsung to gauge interest levels before potentially bringing it to a wider audience. In China, the Z Fold 6 Ultra may be sold as the Samsung Go 25 
complete with unique visual touches like decorative engravings on the hinge, similar to previous Samsung Geely smartphones. And here's another interesting tidbit. China might also get the Galaxy Z Flip 6 as the W25 Flip. This is speculative at this point, but it aligns with rumors that Samsung is also working on a Galaxy Z Flip 6 Slim. Now, unfortunately, there isn't a lot of detailed information about what exactly the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra will offer compared to the Z Fold 6. This is probably because the Ultra model isn't launching alongside the standard model, but we can expect more details to emerge once the standard Galaxy Z Fold 6 goes official at Samsung's Galaxy Unpacked event next month. Samsung's Galaxy Unpacked events are always full of surprises and we can't wait to see what they have in store for us this time. Will the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra live up to the hype? Will it bring groundbreaking features that set apart from the standard model? Only time will tell. To be an upgrade. While rumors suggest a larger display and a slimmer design, the lack of S Pen support might be a deal breaker for some users. Ross Yanon also mentioned that production for the Z Fold 6 Ultra's display panels might begin later this year, with a launch expected in January alongside the Galaxy S25. This staggered release makes sense. It avoids competing with the July launch of the regular Fold 6 and keeps the Ultra exclusive to South Korea for now, which might frustrate international buyers. Speaking of launches, rumors suggest the next Galaxy Unpacked event might be happening on July 10th in Paris, France. However, Tipster E-Leak's list of expected reveals didn't include the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra. Does this mean no Fold 6 Ultra this year? Probably not. E-Leak's list might only include devices one leaked photo a few days ago, looks a bit cheap and out of place on a flagship smartphone expected to cost over $1,500. The device in the picture also appears to be wider than the current Galaxy Z Fold models, suggesting that Samsung is increasing the display size. However, the screens won't be significantly bigger. Samsung is reportedly saving the major display size upgrade for the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra and Galaxy Z Fold 6 Slim models, which are rumored to launch alongside the standard Z Fold 6 this year. Now, let's move to the front. The first hands-on image of the Galaxy Z Fold 6 has leaked and reveals that Samsung has finally listened to Galaxy Z Fold users. The new foldable phone will feature a wider cover screen compared to the Galaxy Z Fold 5. Reliable tipster Ice Universe shared this full image showing the front of the device and comparing it to the Galaxy Z Fold 5. As you can see, the upcoming foldable phone will have a wider cover screen that matches the width of the Galaxy Z Fold 5's cover screen plus one of its bezels. This wider cover screen should improve the typing experience on the Galaxy Z Fold 6 and resolve aspect ratio issues in some apps and games. The new foldable also appears to have much sharper corners for both the body and the cover screen. A tipster shared a photo that seems to show a new camera module for the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 6. Although the leak only indicates that the camera module will feature a new design, it's doubtful Samsung would implement a design change without also upgrading the camera hardware. Here we have the first look at the new Galaxy Z Fold 6 outer display. A Twitter user named Ali recently shared a render comparing it to the Galaxy Z Fold 5. According to Ali, the new outer display features a boxier design and a slimmer hinge, significantly enhancing a Fold 6's overall appearance. The most noticeable difference between the Fold 5 and Fold 6 is the wider cover display. The render clearly shows what do you think about these changes? Are you excited about the wider cover screen and new design? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to stay updated with all the latest tech news. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.